All right, thanks for watching. And I remember I talked to Black Pen Red Pen one day and he was like, dude, you should make more videos where you torture yourself. And well, I found the perfect torture for me, which is this integral, which seems very strange. And in fact, I'll spend probably the next 20 minutes solving this. But at the end, I will tell you, first of all, there's a really amazing simplification. And I'll also tell you why it's so useful. Maybe in PDEs. We'll see. So, we want to solve this integral. And essentially, all we need to do is to sort of uh, complete the square in the exponent. So let's first focus on this exponent here minus x minus y squared over 4kt minus y. So step one, we can complete the square here. So minus x minus y squared over 4kt minus y. That's the same thing as minus x minus y squared over 4kt plus y. And again, just put it on a common denominator, minus x minus y squared plus 4kty. Again, for all the kds in the world, this is for you, 4kt. And now, as I said, we want to focus on the numerator here. So, And as I said, what we would like to do is to complete the square with respect to y. So step, step two. So let's do x minus y squared plus 4kty. That becomes, I think, y squared minus 2xy plus x squared plus 4kty. That becomes y squared plus 4kt minus 2xy plus x squared. And again, very important, you want to complete the square with respect to y, so think x is constant. So what this becomes, it becomes y plus 4kt minus 2x over 2 squared minus 4kt minus 2x over 2 squared plus x squared. And luckily this simplifies a lot. So y plus 2kt minus x squared minus 2kt minus x squared plus x squared. And then that is y plus 2kt minus x squared, and then why not, let's, uh, sorry, développons cette expression, no, let's expand this out, so minus 4k squared t squared plus 4ktx, and then minus x squared plus x squared, woohoo! <laughs> that cancels out. And then not only that, I believe there's a 4kd in this expression as well. Okay, okay. Let's leave our integral as it is here. And that becomes da, 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 y plus 2kt minus x squared and then plus 4kt and I believe just x minus kt. Okay, so again, what was that? That was the numerator in the exponent of our expression. So step three. So what do we have? So minus x minus y squared over 4kt minus y, which was again our expression, Again, the exponent, that becomes minus, now this junk, y plus 2kt kt minus x squared plus 4kt x minus kt. 
over 4 kD. <laughs> Just realize x k c d sounds like x minus k t, and what you're left with is minus y plus 2 k t minus x squared over 4 k t minus, notice the kds cancel out, so sorry, and then minus x minus k t. And again, what was that? That was the exponent in our integral. It was this junk. And again, you might or might not guess what comes next. So, I guess that was step four. Our integral, one over square root of four pi kt, integral from minus infinity to infinity, e of minus y plus 2kt minus x squared over 4kt minus x minus kt dy. Again, our exponent simplifies. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I can't skip this step. Sorry. So um, this expression that we want equals this expression. And what's nice about this, notice this junk here actually doesn't depend on y at all. So you can literally pull it out. So what we get is 1 over square root of 4 pi kt e of this, so if you want e of kt minus x, and the integral from minus infinity to infinity, e of minus y plus 2kt minus x squared over 4kt dy. Again, you may or may not know what's coming, but notice you can write this as e to the something squared square root of 4 pi kt e of kt minus x integral from minus infinity to infinity e of minus y plus 2 kt minus x over square root of 4 kt squared dy well and of course this calls for a u sub so let this be, well, we have x, y, well, we will use u, so let's call this p like pi m. So let's use this huge u sub. By the way, the application will blow your mind. So just, uh, don't just stop watching, uh, watch till the end. So now let, let's step five. So let p be y plus 2kt minus x over square root of 4 kt. Again, everything, just focus on the y, and then dp. You see, this is constant, so it just becomes dy over square root of 4 kt. So dy equals square root of 4 kt dp. And again, what is, <laughs> It looks like pi m. I didn't even realize that. But, you know, forgive me, it's like Sunday night, so I'm a bit <laughs> woozy. Uh, so p of minus infinity becomes minus infinity. p of plus infinity becomes infinity. So this whole junk just becomes 1 over square root of 4 pi kt e to the kt minus x, integral from minus infinity to infinity, e of minus p squared, square root of 4 kt dp. And looks what's, look what's nice, those 4 kts actually cancel out. And then you're left with e to the kt minus x, integral from minus infinity to infinity, e of minus p squared dp over square root of pi. But as my bad luck would have it, I forgot to <laughs> brought the wrong shirt. I meant to bring my Gaussian integral shirt, but you 
can watch another video, I would say 12 other videos about uh, 12 or 13 ways to watch the Gaussian integral and you find this is square root of pi, which is perfect because it cancels out with this. So it turns out the integral at the end is just e to the kt minus x. So you see how beautiful we had this weird answer with, with square root of t's, with y's, and it turns out at the end it gives you e to the kt minus x. And lastly, you may wonder why is that useful? Well, here's a really cool application. Suppose you want to solve the heat equation, ut equals to kuxx, with initial condition ux0 equals e to the minus x. Let's call this phi of x. Well, unfortunately, this usually has infinitely many solutions, but there is one solution that's kind of nice, namely, which is just given by this. It's the fundamental solution, not multiplied with phi, but convolved with phi, which just becomes integral from minus infinity to infinity of s of x minus y t phi of y dy. And the reason to remember this, those ones always have to sum to x. And in fact, there's another great video I've done about intuition behind convolution. And so it's really a, a analysis way of multiplying things. But what is x, s? It's actually this Gaussian kernel, which is one over square root of four pi t, four pi kt, e to the minus, if you want, x squared over 4kt, but here we have x minus y squared over 4kt, and that is e to the minus y, again, by the initial condition, dy. And there's another video I've done where I derived the formula for s, so feel free to check it out. But, oh my god, this is precisely the integral I had at the beginning. So, which just shows you that math naturally wants to torture you. So, those crazy things can be found in life. And we've just shown that it's e to the kt minus x, which actually shows that a solution of the heat equation, it's simply e to the kt minus x. And in case you're not convinced, well, Let's calculate ut, that becomes the derivative of this with respect to t. So k e to the kt minus x. Let's calculate k uxx. Well, that's k times twice the derivative with respect to x. So minus 1 minus 1 e to the kt minus x, which is k e to the kt minus x. And lastly, what is the initial value? Well, if you plug in 0, you get e to the k0 minus x, which is e to the minus x, which is exactly the initial condition that we wanted. So see, math works, and integrals are not for nothing. All right, I hope you like this little torture or PDE video. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.